Hi folks, how's it going? Welcome to another drunken vlog. Today I believe is the 6th. I'll check that for you right this minute. It's actually the 7th. 7th of December, it's Sunday. It's um, almost quarter past one in the morning. As you can probably tell, I'm drunk. I'm really bloody drunk. I'm probably worse than bloody last week. You know? And I'm friggin' angry. You know? I'm friggin' angry at the gaming industry. Believe it or not, I'm friggin' angry at it. Okay? So um, this is going to be, I'm not sure if I'm going to call this a vlog or a rant. Because the stuff recently guys, it's actually getting on my tits. Okay, you know, I don't usually bloody mention words like this. But things recently have been getting on my tits in the gaming industry. You know. So first of all, I'm actually going to, I've got a few things to talk about, but I'm going to talk about that first of all. And that is the fact that these online only games are coming out and also games that basically take so much out of a game so they can add it in a season pass. Nope. That's not the way the game industry industry should be. And um yeah if that's if this is the way the games are going guys I'm just starting to feel like I'm I'm done. I'm absolutely done. You know? I'm getting sick of these big like developers, big companies, big developers who think it's all right to take content out of a game so they can add it later on in a season pass and charge you an extra twenty pound. You know? You know, if this is the way games are going guys, you know, it makes me sick to the stomach because I've always been a gamer. Ever since I was like what three or four year old, playing on Sonic the Hedgehog on the original Sega Mega Drive. You know, games like that, they don't have patches. They come out and they're almost perfect. They don't need friggin' patches, don't rely on patches later on down the line to fix a game that's broken. Okay? Which has absolutely ruined the gaming industry by having patches. Because the thing, it's alright to release a broken game or a game that's, you know, it's maybe not too good, you know? It's maybe, it's maybe lacking in content. But you know what? It's okay. It's okay. We'll charge them £20 down the line for some extra content that'll fix these problems. And no, it's not alright. It's friggin' not alright. You know, so I just I just keep thinking about back to my childhood, guys. You know, Sonic Hedgehog One, Sonic Hedgehog Two, Sonic Hedgehog Three, Resident Evil One, Resident Evil Two, Resident Evil Three. You know, when they came out, they were perfect. They didn't need patched or shit like that. When they were re released, they were released. They were they're fine the way they came out. They didn't need patched or anything. You know, Crash Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot games, you know, Soul Blade, the woman Tekken games, the, um, I don't know, Spire Dragon games. You know, when they all came out, they didn't need patch, Final Fantasies, early Final Fantasies on the PS1. You know, they didn't need patch, when they came out, they were almost perfect anyway. You know? So why are developers nowadays relying on patches to fix all their problems and DLC? And that's the main one for me, is DLC. It's actually pissing me off, DLC. It's actually something that really gets on my tits. You know? It absolutely gets on my tits. And you can tell I'm probably drunk, guys, because I'm pissed off about this whole gaming thing. So the first thing we're going to get into, guys, in this video, is some games that run the PS4 on, you know, Xbox One and stuff. But, online only games. We'll talk about that first of all is first of all we're gonna talk about is Destiny. We're gonna talk about talk about Destiny first of all. Okay? Now Destiny when it first came out guys, you know, there was all this hype for Destiny, you know. I was actually looking forward to Destiny. You know, I'm not gonna lie. You know, and I seen like gameplays and that and like how the game was actually gonna be. You know, I thought this is probably gonna be my kind of game. You know? It's got like you play through levels and stuff, you get loot. So it's got like a, a kind of an RPG kind of element to it. So it's kind of like Borderlands. I thought, you know what? This is my kind of game. This is my kind of game. But then, as soon as I heard that it was online only, I cut myself off from that game. I thought, what's the point? I could buy that game. I could go out and buy it brand new for £50 when it first came out. You know, I could have some fun with it, you know, I could have hours and hours of fun. But give it a year or two, and those servers, <coughs> those servers will be gone. 
Nobody will be playing the game. People will be going on to other games. They're not be playing Destiny. And then the developers, once they see that not many people are playing it online, might be costing them money to keep the online servers open, they'll go... <laughs> they'll shut those servers down. Which, since the game, Destiny, requires you to have an internet, con internet connection and be online to play the game at all times, that game, as soon as you put that disc into your system, or if you download it digitally, as soon as you click on that application, it's gonna be nothing's gonna come up an error. You're not connected to the online servers, or it's gonna come up, the servers are shut down, you can no longer play this game. So if you bought it physically, that's it. That's it. You've just got a, a physical copy that's basically broken. It's garbage. Or if you bought the physical game, you've got yourself a case, a nice blue PS4 case. If you bought it in the PS4, <laughs> if you bought it in Xbox One, I don't know what color the bloody cases are, but you've got yourself a nice little case, you've got a manual, if they do manuals, I don't really know, you've got yourself a nice little Destiny disc. So what? You put that disc in, if the servers are down, that's it. You've got yourself a worthless disc. You might as well just pin it on your wall and throw darts at it, it might as well be a dartboard. You know? That's my main gripe, my main problem, the main thing that gets on my tits with online only games. You know? In my opinion, nowadays, no game should be online only. You know? For me, that just totally puts me off the idea of that game. You know, you know in my opinion, Destiny, it can, you know, it looks good. It looks probably like my kind of game, maybe a bit repetitive, but it looks kind of like Borderlands, where you can like go through a whole level and get some loot, get some better weapons and shit. That might sound good, but the only only part, in my opinion, as soon as I heard that, it can do one now. It can absolutely do one now. In my opinion, this would be my copy of Destiny. It'd go friggin' over my head and away, because I am friggin' sick of games that are required to either be, you know, online only or require an extra subscription or some bullshit like that, okay? Tell another game that's came up recently that gets on my nerves a game that I've seen on the TV, I've seen gameplay of, I think wait a minute, that looks bloody good it looks like Need for Speed or maybe even Midnight Club you know, I absolutely love Need for Speed and love Midnight Club, special Midnight Club 3 on the, PS on the PS2. That game, in my opinion, is absolutely fantastic. But I heard something today that put me off the whole idea, but totally smacked me in the face, put me down, and that was it. I was out. Guess what it was? You have to have an online connection. Yeah. Yeah. That is what the gaming industry has came to. You have to have an online connection to play the crew. Yeah. And if they're doing that, that's actually developed by Ubisoft as well, the crew. I'm not sure who did this and who did their destiny. But yeah, that is basically what it's come to. And if more games start following that rule, and you know, if more games start following that lead, you know, it's I'm gonna say, guys, that I'm done with gaming, with new games. You know, I'll just go back to buy some PS1, PS2, PS3 games, but you know, but I'm not required to play online. You know, you don't have to have an online connection. You don't have to play the game online. You can play through the single player and bloody enjoy it for what the game is. I would say, especially PS1, PS2. You know, they don't need patches or that, you know, they're not going to release a broken game for those consoles, are they? You know, because PS1, PS2 games, they didn't have patches. You know, the Crash Bandicoot games, you know, the PS1 Crash Bandicoot games, did they need patches? Did the Resident Evil games in the PS1 need patches? Did the PS2 Resident Evil games need patches? Did the PS1 and PS2 games in general need patches? Majority of them, no, no, they didn't. 
because I've got some absolutely cracking games on those consoles, guys, and they didn't need patches. In my opinion, most of games nowadays are actually releasing a broken game, a game that's full of bugs, full of, grip, full of glitches, and they think to themselves, you know, this is okay, you know, I can release this game, you know, you know, it's fine. You know, we'll patch it down the line, you know, we'll, you know, we'll put DLC in, an extra £20, you know, yeah, extra money for us, yeah. And that's what's bloody annoying me. That is what's getting on my nerves about new games, you know. So you guys, that's what I feel about the video game industry. You know, I thought I would do this video when I'm drunk, you know. When I'm sober, I'm probably going to... I'm probably going to get angry when I'm sober, but not as much as what I am when I'm drunk. You know, I'm really passionate about video games. Video games, for me, is uh, it's actually an important part of my life. I'm not going to lie, you know. But there's nothing else to do. What, what do I stick on? I stick on video games. You know, they're a great, you know, great way to pass the time. You know, they can, you can really get a lot of enjoyment out with these games. And the fact, you know, since I, since I was young, since I had a Meg Drive, you know, since I, since I was young, I started to get into games. And this is the way games are going, you know, down the line. It's, um, it's, you know, it's getting on my nerves, you know. I just hope not a lot of game companies actually do this, you know. I hope, hopefully, guys, there's not actually that many companies out there that will actually make games online only. Or we are in trouble. We're in trouble. You know. Anyway, guys, I think that I think that will do for the the rant about uh, video games. Um, I'm really pissed off because not only that, you've got to pay for the PSN, you know, of the Xbox Live. You've got to pay so much money, you know, for for the you know the contract, you know, the PlayStation Network contract, or the the Xbox Live contract. You've got to pay for that contract. Was it thirty pound a year? So I wish I wish you would absolutely I wish you would cut it out. Just absolutely. Give up on body online only. You know, give people a single player. So when the online servers are ever, you know, they're either dead or they're abs you know, or they're finished, or they're totally finished, give actually people a reason to put on the game and actually play it. You know, that's the reason why I hate online. Because once, once nobody plays it online, they shut the servers. And once they shut the servers, that's it. That's a, an obsolete game. That's a game you've got a disc of. You might as well snap it, put it in the bin, put it in the garbage. Because it's going to be absolutely no use to you. No use to you. So anyway guys, that is it. That is it for my uh, drunken vlog. I'm not going to call this a vlog. I'm going to call it a rant. But um, yeah, I just thought I'd really get this off my chest. Because it's starting to worry me, about, you know, worry me about online games. You know, games that require, to, you know, require an online connection to play. And uh, once, they're, once the connection's gone, once the servers are shut, that's it. You've got a, a game that's completely useless. I thought I'd get this off my chest, guys. And, uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. I know it's been a bit of a rant, but I'll catch you all later. And uh, one thing I want to talk about as well. Season Pass. They're charging £20 a Season Pass for this, which has got, like, a few 2K showcase modes, some extra wrestlers and shit. If this is the way games are going, stop it, you know? I don't think games should do this. I really don't. Don't worry, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you all later. See you guys. Thanks for watching.